go. Game number one, Pavelski versus Simple. Pavelski won out in the winner's final three, over two, Simple 3-1. One, Can he just close it out here in the grand finals and be crowned the victor for the European region? Now, like their previous set, Simple is starting out with the Jay Yun here. He did go two games, one a victory oh. and one a loss before swapping over to the Taros. And he is starting strong out of the gate, but keep in mind, he did win game one before against Pavelski. Pavelski getting just the tiniest bit of damage. He didn't even complete his combo there with the downlight dare. Able to avoid that ground pound, but Simple going to get that first stock in his basically untouched that's like two sword hits of damage Pavelski's able to pick up a great sword but he's also able to pick up a lot of hits that he's taking from simple already even on damage on his second stock but he's also a stock behind oh, oh. man simple continues the pressure no. up this is why he wanted to move straight into the game no break necessary Simple just going in. Pavelski having to dodge out, but nice. he gets caught on the approach. Simple getting another one. Is Simple going to start off grand finals with a 3-0 or a 3 oh, stock? That signature was so beautiful because he knew Pavelski was going to move forward after his initial whiff so that he could grab the weapon spawn that came in. So he reached behind him, reached under him with that signature to get the KO on a grounded opponent. What a beautiful use of that signature gravity cancel. Pavelski trying to stop the three stock with the use of the pocket sand. But he's Yo! getting hit. Yo! Yo! One more! Yo! Three he stock for <laughs> Simple to start Grand Finals. 126 damage put out for Pavelski. Yeah, no wonder you're going to go straight into the next game. Get that screen off. He didn't even turn him red. Oh my goodness, Simple! He had an orange! What, what was Winner's Final? Was that Simple just warming up? Was he still... Yo, game one. Game one little, syndrome little here. Uneaten. You know how game ones can go. Yo, but that was... That was, uh, that was a little bit of a slaughter. That was a uh, very rough game one. Valsky is able to get the weapon spawn here in game two, but still yet to touch Simple. Now Simple is going to start off with the sword into Pavelski's great sword, but he is still winning the damage war here early on in this game. Coming up on 30 seconds in, he still has the better damage output. Now has over 100, goes for the ground pound. Pavelski was deep enough in the push-off column to avoid it. Didn't need to waste a dodge or a jump or anything to get away from that. Again, this is an option Pavelski is really starting to go for now. Is ending with that ground pound over the edge and the neutral signature continuing to come out, continuing to take stocks. He is maintaining his momentum from game number one into game number two. Simple looking so strong, so poised to get the immediate reset in grand finals. Oh, Catches he got the, dodge. the dodge back, gets oh. the recovery. Doesn't quite hit the neutral signature, but Pavelski's finding no responses. Finding a little bit of damage here. Oh, he went for the GC option again like okay, he was okay. doing before. Missed the pocket sand, but still kept the pressure up and got the stock. He's not too far behind here. He is going to have a regular sword in his hand, so the string potential and the damage output is not as high. Neutral sick comes out, immediately gets punished by Simple. You saw the Nair coming. There's two hits. Tries to chase into the sky. Oh. Somehow gets the edge of that. Hits it almost completely silent. It was... I mean, he hit with the last frames of it to the point, like you said, no audio cue played. It was just the silent but deadly simple. One stock away from taking this to game number three. Pavelski starting to turn on the blender, though. Took him a little while to plug it in, but he's starting to get these hits. Oh. Pavelski here to come back. In game two on final stock. Does have the weapon advantage. Spawn comes in. Oh, it started just low enough that Simple couldn't get to it in time. Pavelski was playing around it. Great sword v. Great sword. Dead even on damage. Something Simple has to worry about is those gravity cancel options from Pavelski all the way on the edge, whether it's a GC side light, a GC D light, whether it's a signature option. He has to worry about that pressure off stage. Pavelski's doing that better than like anybody else playing Great Sword right now. 
He's doing really good on these edge guards, but Simple found the timing there. We saw Pavelski go for a backdash, likely was looking for either that GC down sig or the slide charge. There's out the side sig, Simple with the punish. Again, the blender is turned on. Simple getting caught does not immediately jump into the weapon toss. Oh, they're so By even. The Simple's just a little bit oh. behind. Oh, Pavelski's in the red. Can you dodge through? Gets away Gets from it. Oh, still holding on. One more. This is the neutral signature. Simple gonna find a weapon. Oh, there it is. down light recovery. Simple gonna take it to game three. Currently up 2-0. Oh. oh, oh my God. We are, we are on the precipice the sprint. of a reset. What a sprint. I don't have a clock running, but they are sprinting through these games. Uh, it is coming in at about four minutes and 52 seconds. That is the clock on Smash GG. Goodness. For the set. Now, game recognized game. I understand speed. As a world record speed runner, <laughs> one of the world's fastest Get gamers, out of here. I understand what it takes to go fast. How many other people are even in that category? Enough for me to get the gold medal. <laughs> Offstage plays. Pavelski looking better here in game number three. Looks like it took him a little while to wake up, but he's starting to do well. Simple still doing just enough. Staying ahead of Pavelski. Offstage doesn't hit the ground pound. Pavelski oh. with the punish. Stuffed out the recovery. Ooh. Didn't hit the down light. They're just fighting it out, but nobody gets a stock. Ooh, there's the side signature. I love that on the edge guard situation, Simple dipped under the stage. See, me, I would have dipped off of the wall and gone right into that ground pound from Pavelski, but Simple dipped under the stage to stay as safe as he could. Pavelski hungry for this knockout. You see him going for a lot of recoveries, but it's going to be the side light dash in and Sig to get the stock evener. A little bit surprised that he even KO'd. Even. Yeah, it was close. Sword coming in for simple here. He doesn't even want to land. He's staying on the soft platform. Got to be careful though. He's oh, getting juggled. The chase. Oh my gosh! In oh, the monocle, you can't even just... see who's above who. But Pavelski keeps chasing simple up there. Simple finally finds his footing Bro. and trying to get this turnaround. Ground pound whiff. <laughs> simple, you need to chill on this second stock, my guy. Oh. Get Pavelski! on the ground. Get away from there! Stop spending so much time in the air! Pavelski just chasing him! The chase down from Pavelski. He's got health to play with now. Look at these hits. No dodges from Simple. There it is. Here's the dodge out. Simple gets back, gets a punish. Oh my gosh. The dodge out again. Oh, that's Pavelski's bad. He's right back in it. He's getting so much damage. The neutral Holy. sig. Pavelski going to take game number three. Wants to stop the reset. What an insane game after what we just saw in the previous two games. Thinking about the stage banning. The plays are absolutely insane. This is absurd. Pavelski versus Simple going to game number four. Small Mammoth Fortress. And I can understand Simple not wanting to go back to the Dome or any other major soft platform, Matt, because while that may give a player the option to retreat to those soft platforms, that also gives Pavelski the option to go to those soft platforms to extend where his actual aerial defense starts. Rather than having to stay on the ground and expend two jumps to chase, he's already two jump heights up, which means he can just, he can chill off screen all the way up there and then go back to the platform, touch, reset his jumps, and then go right back to work. Yeah, but there is a soft platform that will sometimes be at least a jump height up. Velsky trying to play off of it. Simple. Not able to connect with the GCN SIG. Damage advantage is in favor of Simple. Catches the dodge back, but just going to get that neutral finisher. There's the end SIG to get the first stock. 
That is a good lead for Simple going into this. A weapon spawn is going to come in. It is a regular sword, but Simple continuing the pressure here. That's two more hits on the board for him. Ooh. Goes for the signature. Pavelski gets through it enough away from that signature to not get hit by those active frames. Eli Dare into the neutral light. That is his optimum damage build with that sword. Simple punishing that falling down air. Pavelski going to be looking for that knockout with that neutral signature. There it is. That's going to be the knockout, but he needs to keep this great sword. He needs to get two dodge reads to get this back to even. Now, that was back to back turnaround options off of the sidelight for Simple. And Pavelski both times did not dodge back and back through Simple. So we'll see if he goes for more of those same direction options now that he's missed two of those in a row. Seeing him need that dodge in. This time Pavelski dodges out and Simple going to chase forward. Dodge down from Pavelski, looking for the double dare, but couldn't quite get the hit. Offstage, Simple's got dares Ooh. in his own. Simple wanting to get this reset right here, right now. Pavelski in the offstage doesn't hit the down air, but Simple is still getting hits. He's getting damage. Simple's in such a good spot. Not even orange yet, so the KO potential is not quite there yet. The backside of that is going to end up making contact with Simple. Yo! Oh, From the middle of the stage, enough. that almost KO'd. If he was just a little bit closer to the right side, that would have been a KO. He gets disarmed. Just raw, neutral, heavy on stage. There's the recovery. Pavelski needs to play this stock perfectly. He wants to take this to game five. Next weapon for Simple is going to be a regular sword. He's able to pick it up as it spawns over the middle of the stage. He was on that soft platform. You see him looking for the D-Light. Wants the recovery follow up. D-Light recovery, KO off the top. That is a bracket reset here. We're going to a fresh best of five grand finals. One final set between Pavelski and Simple to determine who will be the European world champion. You said it earlier, I'll say it again. This is some darn good Brawlhalla. You love to see it. You wouldn't want it to be any other way here after a full year of competition between these players. You got to at least get a reset. If you don't, it would leave a sour taste in your mouth. So I'm glad we got it. Got to satisfy the fans. Make sure they're full because there is so much Brawlhalla on the plate. But here we go. Game number one. After the reset, no more opportunities for either player. We're going to Demon Island, of course, the Jay Yun Mirror. Well, as you know, it is Demon time now that we're on the Demon Island. Shouts Beyonce. out to Beyonce for that one. You're absolutely correct. I learned that recently. Pavelski picking up the greatsword. Simple still jumping around. Not able to pick up a weapon. Blender gets turned on, but Simple able to jump away. Not too much damage. Didn't get his hand caught in that blender for too long. Oh, he actually didn't go with the ground pound there, expecting Pavelski to be high. You saw the recovery coming out. Or maybe he was just trying to dip from the situation. You know Simple doesn't want to take one of those double dares from Pavelski. He's been trying to hit him. Oh, Hasn't God. quite hit one on Simple, but that is going to hit in the middle of the stage. Weapon Toss goes out. He actually runs away from it, gives him enough time to react oh. and get the dodge. But the pocket sand shouts out Dale Gribble. Simple almost grabs the down air. They get the spiking KO. There it is. Simple. Going up, gets the first stock in the bracket reset. What was that neutral saying? It's just a setup for the GC downlight recovery. Pavelski able to immediately even up the stock off of the goofiest respawn decision. Pavelski's going to get his chance at first weapon after simple spawns, finding some damage. Simple finds an unarmed neutral light into the sidelight, able to pick up the weapon off of that. It's going to be a regular sword, hits the pocket sand in yellow, that then turns Pavelski orange. Oh uh, yet another one, almost exactly like the one he got the stock with. A little more pocket sand. And Simple could be going up two stocks to the one of Pavelski. Pavelski gets on stage. You see Downlight catches Simple. Again, Blender Yo! turned on, chopping him up, evening up this damage. Simple's looking for this side sig. Now, I'm not a great sword player, but I feel like Pavelski was going for too many turnarounds there. <laughs> I think that's a, I, I think I hear Flambo screaming again. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> 
he, he doesn't go for finishers. That's like a big thing for Pavelski. Is he's just going to turn on the blender for as long as possible. And then he'll just later look for a setup into that neutral signature. On the other side, you're seeing Simple. He'll go straight into that finisher more often than not. Like he'll get one dodge read and then just go for the finisher. Simple now just a little bit in the lead. Hits the side light. Yo, Pavelski went for the GCD light out of hit stun. I don't know if it's because Simple oh. like waited the perfect oh, amount of time. Oh, that KO'd! He was able to take that without losing a second stock. Oh my gosh. How did that KO? Simple taking game number one, two stocks to the none of Pavelski. This is looking so good for Simple. And the kill efficiency for Simple that game. Off the charts in terms of good. 168 per stock. You turn red at 150, and on a map like Demon Island with a really high ceiling, you can't be expected to kill at 150 every time. He is 18 points of damage past that, and he is finding a KO. Incredible efficiency. Absolutely insane. Simple. He is two steps, two games from winning it out in the Grand Finals and being crowned the Brawlhalla World Champion. Pavelski gonna try to stop it. You see him again going for these resets, going for these turnarounds, keeps trying to pivot inside. Simple, starting to figure it out, starting to get out more frequently. Ooh, that weapon, weapon toss, toss was yeah. almost insane from Simple. It's just a little bit too low. Pavelski Greedy. burns his dodge. He didn't have anything left. That was all he had, hoping that Simple would at least fall into it and he could get the chase dodge on hit. Pavelski is going to fall first. Simple with yet another lead. Nice D-Light nice. to recovery. Not quite enough to take off the top. Simple grabs his weapon. A D-Light recovery there for good measure. Going to get the KO. Pavelski keeping this even. Very goofy uh, weapon delay. Usually he goes very high and then immediately does the weapon toss, but he just charged it and fell back down to the stage, nullifying all of that movement. But he's going to connect with a side signature onto Simple. He'll start building up this damage onto the second stock. Wants to go game for game. Does not want to let Simple go up 2 0. He has the damage lead here in the second stock. Nice side light D light gets the third hit, turning Simple orange. Pavelski waiting a long time before he lands. You saw him even gray out. Neutral signature. Caught simple without a weapon now. Goes for the sword ground pound. A risky move. Pavelski wasn't even looking for a turnaround. Instead, wanted to play it safe. Throws out the down sync on stage. Simple high above it. Another recovery. A neutral signature could be the stock. Neutral sync connects. Pavelski only in the orange. Saw him throw the sword away. Spawn comes in. Pavelski's right on top of it. Simple grabs it, but he's also going to take two hits. There's a third hit. Pavelski continues to look for these side light, in light follow ups. Flash out. Pavelski goes in with a down light. Simple with a punish. Doesn't hit the finisher, though. Pavelski gets caught by the neutral six. Still not enough damage, though. It would have been just a little bit closer to the left side. That would have been a KO. Pavelski still finding more damage. Simple is going to disarm himself. A spawn should be coming in soon. It's right on top of Pavelski. He's going to swipe it, go back to the Greatsword. Simple needs to find a KO. Finding unarmed in the Greatsword is not easy to do. Takes a neutral signature floating above Pavelski right near the weapon spawn. The recovery comes in right when he needs it. He's still about 100 damage behind Pavelski. This is still very doable. One bad dodge from Pavelski. Simple's right back in this. Pavelski does pick up a Greatsword. Simple changing up his dodges, gets caught by the side sig, puts him off screen. Trying to jump back, earning a lot of movement, but the weapon tosses. And Simple with oh. the off stage. He's great. What was that? He's Simple. insane. Why? Why? He's insane. Why? Pavelski going to take game two. The side signature, the madman from Bulgaria. And he gets back on stage for a regular sword recovery. He's literally crazy. Simple just went right into it. Pavelski was gray and burned his dodge. Look, he's gray. He's what crazy. were you doing? What were you doing? He saw he's not the crazy. Blood. That's all he had left. He saw the blood in the water and Simple wanted to get the KO so badly. He, want, he knew he had to do something to guarantee it. But here we are. Yeah, Game number toss. three. <laughs>
just throw a weapon toss down. I don't even think you even needed that. Oh man, that is heartbreaking. That heartbreaking for, for 50% of the audience. Probably Exciting less the than 50. less than 50%. Simple making a critical error there. That would have given him another victory in this set, putting him up 2-0. He's gonna have to fight back from that. Blender Keep the mental strong, on. but oh, Pavelski. No. Oh my gosh. Gonna guarantee it. No, Starting backs off. away. Side sig. Like you said, starting off rough for simple in the weapon toss. Pavelski looking very healthy in game number three. Now Pavelski with a similar lead he had last game early on, and he's still finding little hits here and there, little bits of chip damage. Down light side air, Pavelski off stage. It's a burned recovery. Running out of horizontal movement, still gets back with an exhausted recovery, trying to put out a hitbox on his movement. Ooh, simple. Punishing that forward movement is going to get the recovery. Take it down to second stocks here in game number three. That's the dare D light as the option that's going to send Pavelski far away. All right, Zig. Who goes for the ground pound? Pavelski has not been getting caught by that. He's been playing far away on the outside, but the damage is getting done. Neutral Sig misses, second one. Still not enough to finish off the stock. Pavelski was trying to prime. There is out more neutral signatures. That's been his primary way of finishing off stocks. And again, a classic Pavelski just run yeah. away and then the turnaround. This time he didn't go all the way to the left or the right side of the stage. He stopped a little bit shorter than that, but it's working. He doesn't have quite the lead though that he did after that first stock, but it's very close. He's definitely finding ways to widen it. Simple, trying to change up. Knows that the ground pound's not working. Tries to go for the recovery, but Pavelski is going horizontal Ooh, to get away from those. Pavelski has quite a lead on you. Oh man, three hits there. Punish. Simple is one or two hits away from being orange on his final stock. Go. The side finisher launches Simple. Pavelski. It's another great sword, misses the ground pound. Simple needs to get this stock ASAP. Otherwise, this is gonna be game three in the pocket of Pavelski. Down light cider isn't enough. Weapon toss. Charge that one up just to make sure. Weapon toss is gonna go up. The weapon spawn comes in, but it's sort of a little bit of a weird spot, space. So he's not able to completely deny it from Pavelski. He grabs the regular sword, damage starting to come out, simple. Here in the red. Wake oh, do you like recovery? That's going to do it. Pavelski takes game number three. He is now one game away from being crowned the victor. Simple. You know he's going to be fighting for that game five. You got to believe it's going to go down to the wire, but we're going to small mammoth for game number four. Sticking with the Jay Yuns. No more Taros fussing about from Simple. We're seeing strength stance on simple versus default stance on Pavelski. Three, it's gonna two, take one away one, from that dexterity for simple. Spawn coming in, first weapon goes to Pavelski. It's gonna be that great sword. Trying to turn on this blender. Still getting more neutral wins over simple, simple. Finding the basic sword. Starting to get some hits in. His vertical punishes are looking really yeah. good. Oh, and then just oh. <laughs> damage negated. It don't matter anymore. He's catching these dashbacks from Simple. Recovery. Needs another hit. Simple gets back down onto the ground. Catches the dodge out. Who's going to take the first stock? Pavelski high enough to avoid the neutral signature. D-Light recovery. It's going to be Pavelski grabbing the first strike. And he's going to be sticking with the great sword. Deep red for Pavelski, and he's still moving forward. Going to be going over to the regular sword. Try to get this damage built up onto the second stock of Simple. And Simple just trying to land back down. Wants to get this weapon pickup. Hasn't even thrown out an attack. Finally does with the neutral air. A downlight recovery should be enough for Simple to even up the stock count. He's going to have to find a way to safely hit that D-Light, though. He missed. You saw the jump and the dodge came out from Pavelski there, so he's way too high. Oh, oh man, this no. is looking tough. 
D-Light Recovery finally gets the stock, but Simple continuing to find himself at the same deficit. Pavelski is holding on to these same leads. Game after game might even make it bigger oh. here. Gets the recovery for the KO off the top. A full stock lead for Pavelski. One stock between Pavelski and victory in the European region. Pavelski, who has such a tumultuous history in tournaments. He has so many highs and lows. Can he do it? Simple throwing away the basic sword. Wants the great sword. Pavelski going to completely deny. And he's going in with his own basic sword. Weapon spawn coming in middle of the stage. Simple grabs it and Pavelski throwing his sword away. In comes the spawn. It's high. Pavelski's high and he grabs the weapon. Big damage coming out from Simple. He needs to find a KO here quickly. You know how quickly Pavelski adds up this damage. Pavelski's finding hits. Each of these hits. Bringing Pavelski closer and closer to victory. Caught the dodge away. Goes for the neutral finisher to punish any jump outs. Pavelski finds a nair on his way back. Simple needs this stock so badly off of Pavelski. Can't hit the recovery. Weapon spawn comes in. Simple grabs it. Gets the recovery off the top. That lead has shrunk quite a bit but it's still in Pavelski's favor. Where's the weapon spawn gonna come in? Right there! Pavelski has been so blessed by these weapon spawns. RNG <gasps> gods bless RNG. Downlight into a GC. N-Sig from Pavelski. One more recovery and Pavelski the Nair! And Pavelski is going to be the European Brawlhalla World Champion! He did it. This is a historic <laughs> day for Pavelski and all of those who have believed in him along the way. He did it. The absolute madman Pavelski winning it out, upsetting in the winner's semifinal over Akno, upsetting in the winner's final over Simple, and then upsetting in the grand finals to be crowned the champion. Coming in with the JN, putting in the time, putting in the effort, learning this legend, coming in level 31, and beaten out simple. Oh my goodness. It's something a lot of people have been wanting for a very long time. Is this Pavelski's first singles win? I think, I think it I think might be. Let's see. Pavelski. No, he has one.